Oh. Hi everyone, I'm Brooke Teller, the science coordinator from the Portland Public Schools. And I'm Jane Affleck, fits with Maine Audubon. We are here on the Little River, a part of the Androscoggin watershed, and we're here to release the fry, over 1,600 fry, that the third graders in the Portland Public Schools have raised over the past several weeks. These are endangered Atlantic salmon, and we want to thank all of the students and teachers who have been involved in this project for the important work they did uh, raising this protected species. We appreciate all of your hard work and we're very excited to send them on their journey in their next phase of life. So, we are here at the release site. We have been given permits to determine that it is okay to send them on their way. We have checked the water temperature and it is safe and suitable. The water is cool and clear and there are lots of rocks or nooks and crannies for our par, our fry, sorry, to hide. So, if the salmon survive, they will stay here for the next two to three year, years as fry turning into par. And then before they smolt, they will make their way down the river, down toward the Androscoggin, and then out into the open sea, where they will spend another two to three years before trying to make their way back to this place on the Little River, Little river in Lisbon Falls. Awesome. So now is the time that we're going to release the fry by class. We're going to have the um, Jane pour your fry into the little river just back here where it's a little bit calmer than the rest of this, this little river. It's protected and they have lots of rocks that they can hide in so that they're safe from any potential predators. All of the schools provided some messages, so I'm gonna read those as we release our fry. So the first group is from Longfellow. Thank you, Longfellow students. The Longfellow students want to wish their fry well on their long journey over the next bunch of years as they become adults. Bye Longfellow fry, good luck. From Rowe School, the students hope that the fry live a long life and lay lots of eggs and don't get killed by dams. Thank you Rowe students. Thanks Rowe. Our friends on Peaks Island wish their salmon farewell. We hope you live long lives. Make sure to watch out for predators and pollution and don't eat each other. Travel safely and come back to Maine to lay eggs, our cutie patooties. Thanks, Peaks Island students. Thank you. Our friends on Cliff Island say that they will miss their salmon very much when they go to live their lives in the great wide open. They're happy because you'll get to explore the river and then the ocean and hope that maybe one day they get to see you again. Goodbye. Bye Cliff. Our Ocean Ave friends say, goodbye, we will miss you. Thank you for teaching us how you live. Good luck. Thanks, Ocean Ave. Thank you, Ocean. Bye, Fry. <laughs> Our friends at Lyseth have a few wishes. We wish you food, survival, and that you have lots of babies and eggs. We hope the water is clean we enjoyed watching you grow. One friend wrote, I hope you don't die and get eaten. <laughs> Everyone is sad about your departure and disappointed that we can't keep you. In a way, we were your parents. We took care of you and watched you grow. So we wish you good luck on your journey to the ocean and a good life. Thanks. And finally, we are family. Be safe and good luck. Have a safe journey and don't get eaten, don't forget us. Bye, Lyseth Fry. Thanks, Lyseth. Some notes from Reiki School. 
We will miss you. We hope you have a great time in the ocean. Good luck on your journey. We hope you grow big and strong. I hope all of you can survive the rest of your life and I hope you don't get eaten by a bear. Thanks, Reiki, for raising your fry. Thanks, Reiki. A message from our friends at East End. My friends and I are going to miss you. When I saw you as a baby, I thought I could keep you forever, but I can't. So have a safe trip and have fun, and please remember me. Thank you, East End. Thanks, East End. From Talbot, we had a nice drawing of some salmon, and those salmon are shouting out some messages. We will miss you. We hope you have a long life. I hope you can have eggs. Be safe. And they also said, I hope you survive because I love animals, including salmon. Be sure to avoid anything sharp or metal because it could be a fishing rod and people might take the fish out of the water and then they couldn't survive. Try not to hold fish out of the water because they won't be able to breathe and they might die. So some really great tips from Talbot on how to treat our fish friends. Thank you, Talbot. Thanks, Talbot. and our friends from Presumpscut. We loved watching you grow from eggs to eyed eggs to Elvin to Fry. Watching this life cycle has taught us so much more than we could have learned from a book. We know that your journey is going to take a long time, but we hope it will be a successful one. Don't end up as someone's brunch. May you not be eaten by a seal, otter, or bear, or caught by a fisherman, or disrupted by a dam. We will miss you. Best of luck our friends at Presumpscut School. And we just want to end by saying thank you, third graders. Thank you. We really appreciate the care that you took with these important endangered species, and we wish them luck.